So remember that. We said that suppose x represents a continuous random variable, and suppose you want to convert that into a confidential data type, z value, z score. So let x be a continuous random variable. Well, we can use z, which is defined as x minus mu divided by sigma. Okay, we use this machine, x gets into this machine and you get your z as the value. So x is your input, x as the input, the machine, x minus mu, divided by sigma and it gives you z values all right well now i expect you to ask what if i have z and i want to know what was the actual data what was the actual number that i was working with okay now suppose X is not given. What is given? Z is given. To find your X, the X value, we use just a simple algebra multiply sigma and z and add mu to both sides. So z times sigma is equal to x minus mu. So x becomes z sigma plus mu. So take a look at this. Now you just enter your z value. Z is the input. And the formula that you're going to use is z sigma plus mu. z sigma sigma z plus mu. And it gives your x back. So you're going to get your x back as the output. This is your input and this is your output. So I give you two formulas, two machines that you can use to either find your z, or if z is given, you can find your x value. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. A little more comfortable about what's happening here. Okay, perfect. Well, let's ask a volunteer from group three to read the example for us. Very good. So in this example, we have a bit records of the weights of the cats. You do not have the actual weights. What do you have are the Z scores. So when you see 1.96, it says, hey, my z-score of the weight is 1.96. And it says, I have a negative weight. Guys, the actual weight cannot be negative. Even a dead cat has some, you know, weight. So if you have a negative sign and it says, hey, it's a weight, it means that you're dealing with the z-score. You do not have the actual x values. Well, it says, hey, z is equal to zero. Okay, it means that you're standardized. Z is given. It means that we're looking for our X value. Let's take a look at the board. On the board, we have the following machine. It says my X is nothing but Z times sigma plus mu. 
It means that I enter my Z into this machine and it gives me the weight or the output back, all right? So let's do the computations. Let's go to our little board here. Let's erase it and do the computation. Okay, perfect. So again, now we have our Z. They go into the box and you get your X values back. Z times sigma plus mu and you get your X values, the actual weights back X values. Okay, what is the first Z value? The very first Z value is 1.96. So what is X? X is Z times sigma plus me. But do I have information about me? Well, it says, hey, mean weight is nine and the standard deviation is two pounds. I have this information. So my X, the weight of the cat is 1.96 times sigma, which is two, plus, you copy down the plus sign, mean is nine. What is the weight of that cat? The second one, Z is negative 0.44. I want to know what is the weight associated to this Z value. I have a formula, Z times sigma plus the mean. X is Z negative 0.44 times sigma, which is two, plus the mean, which is nine. What is my weight? And finally, the last cat with z equals to zero. What is the weight of that cat? X is z times sigma plus mean. So x becomes zero times two plus nine. Okay, by doing the computation, the very first weight is about 13 pounds, 12.92 pounds, the actual weight of the cat. Exactly. The second one is associated to x equals to 8.2. 12 pounds, the weight of the second cat. And finally, the weight of the last cat is just zero, so it's going to be nine pounds. X value. So that's how we find uh, the X values when the Z is given to us. So the score for the standard test normally distributed. The mean of that test is 50 and the standard deviation is 10. Well, the applicant to be considered for higher, they need to have scores in the top 10%. Well, what is the lowest score that a person, an applicant, can earn and still be eligible to be hired by that agency. So we want to know what is the X value, right? What do we have? We have the mean, we have the standard deviation, and we want to know what is that X value. If we go back to the board, If you take a look at our board, it says, hey, if you have your Z, you can find your X value. Again, if you look at the larger board, if you have your Z, then you can find your X value. You can enter your Z to this formula, sigma times Z plus mu, and find your X value. But here we don't have 
the value for z. What do we have? We have the top 